Uh, hello, my name is uh, Dustin Blackburn. I'm a USPTA certified uh, tennis professional here with the Elite Sports Clubs. Um, today what we're going to be talking about is um, the, the role of a, of a swing path and, and kind of what your racket tip is doing based on where the butt end of the racket is. So um, we're going to talk about two different scenarios in which you might have a different swing path um, and, and your racket tip might be doing something uh, completely different based on uh, what you're trying to do. So the two scenarios we're going to talk about are, are a topspin uh, drive shot um, and then also uh, more of a uh, uh, underspin slice shot that you might use in tennis. So um, let's first talk about just the, the topspin drive. Um, when you're swinging in tennis, I always like to, to break it down into two parts. You've got the racket and then you've also got your hand. Um, so if I were to take the racket out of my hand here and just talk about um, what my hand is doing as I swing on, on a topspin drive, my hand is going to go from a lower position down here and then it's going to finish up above my shoulder up here okay and a lot of times when when you hear a coach talking about um, swinging at least with a drive shot they're always talking about lifting the racket over the shoulder and really that starts with your hand okay so you have to be able to first you know use your hand to swing up and above your shoulder now once we start to add the racket this is kind of where the spin comes into play so this low to high swing with my hand is really just driving the ball up okay now if we start to talk about the racket and what it's doing um, the tip of the racket is going to also be coming from a lower position to a higher position. And, and, and the way that I'm going to do this or talk about this um, is, you know, when I get set up to hit my shot, my racket is going to go back and at, at a certain point in my swing, if I'm trying to produce this topspin drive, the tip of the racket is going to be below the level of the butt end of the racket towards the handle here. So the tip is going to be below the level. And what's going to happen is as I start to step forward into my shot, um, I'm going to be bringing not only my hand forward and up, but the racket tip itself is also going to be rotating up and forward. And the combination of, of again, bringing your hand forward and up above your shoulder, and then the tip of the racket coming up uh, along with that is going to create this, uh, this topspin. And, and you can really actually decide how much topspin you might want to use on your shot um, based on how much this racket tip is coming up as you swing forward. So if I were trying to produce a shot where where I was hitting with more of a looping action or it had more of a, of, of a moon ball so to speak um, my, my racket tip would be coming from a much lower position to a much higher position quickly and that's going to generate a lot of topspin now let's imagine that maybe I'm in a rally and, I, and I'm going to be trying to attack and this time I want to kind of flatten my shot out or level it out um, the tip of the racket is not going to be as extreme now it's not going to fall down so low it's probably going to stay a little bit closer to horizontal to where the racket tip is maybe just barely below the butt end of the racket and then as I swing again I'm going to bring that racket up and the tip is going to stay a little bit more level and this again is going to make the ball level out while still giving it some topspin okay so that would be the example of of what your hand is doing and what your racket tip is doing while using a, a, a topspin drive now if we're talking about a slice and this applies to the forehand or the backhand side um, when doing a slice now your hand is going to start in a completely different position and this is uh, assuming that you're making contact around your hip height we'll just say um, but what your hand is going to do this time instead of being at a lower position it's actually going to be up at a little bit of a higher position so my hand is going to come from a higher position here and it's going to come forward and actually drop a little bit um, now when we start to add the racket again this is where the spin is going to come into play um, the tip of the racket this time is going to be much above the butt end of the racket okay so what's going to happen is as I uh, you know drive forward and bring my hand down and forward uh, the tip of the racket here is also going to fall or slide underneath the ball so it's starting in a position above my hand and then as I finish it might finish just about level or even slightly below okay so and and the motion with the racket where the tip is coming down under the ball that's going to create some underspin okay so to review we just talked about two different ways in which you can um, you know talk about you know stepping in and hitting with a drive uh, you know with your hand coming up above your shoulder and that's going to be more of a topspin shot and we talked about the racket tip coming up uh, during the full swing and then with the slice, it's almost just the opposite. You know, your hand's going to be a little bit higher. The tip of the racket's going to be up. And as you go forward into your shot, everything's going to kind of fall onto the ball. Okay? Uh, thanks for watching.